Hi people. So leo nakuja tu kuongelesha watu wa kijiji kwa sababu I'm telling you kizungu sometimes is too much. In a choke. You get what I'm saying? So uh, leo naanza tu na mshene. Una matek. So mshene ya leo ni but si encourage gossip. Mshene ya leo ni juzi kuna kitu ili happen. And ilikuwa inafanya ni like shake like a leaf ni vile woga ilikuwa imepamba eh woga ilikuwa imepamba moto na ilifanya ni fikiria nikifikiria like your situation from future me akifikiria about that past shaking person nilikuwa nafikiria a lot about ili nirudisha kwa hii topic i feel like one ifikiria a lot about fear na kuna kitu nime realize about fear ukitaka kujua watu waogopa ongea about god eh ushaisikia mtu akiongea about hata mimi isha ni happen yeah. ushaisikia mtu mwenye unamjua like in life unajua tu yu mtu ni vituko anaanza kuongea about god all of a sudden na amepata change kwa soli yake ameanza kuongea about god alafu unaanza kushtuka kiongea about god uko like guy akianza kuongea about god hii situation itakuwa tricky watu watamkata ama unaanza ku feel like atakuwa weird unajua watu wogopo ukitaka kujua people are afraid in life jua watu uji eka ni moto angalia mtu anaongea about god one reaction watu watakangi association watu watakangi kusikia word cuz inafanya ngatu tu akwe like uncomfortable so with that said is he about word actually it is about word kwa sababu it's about god na ni funny at of all people mimi ndio ninakuja na word ya god na sikosi bible by the squeezy bible tunaleta kila mahali hadi kwa vitu kwa mse so topic ya leo nilikuwa nataka kuongea about fear na nime realize a lot about fear that kuna watu wengi they consider themselves like incapable kwa sababu wameacha watu waingie kwa akili zao like umeacha watu wa dictate venue utaishi life yako umeacha like tuseme ka nini like tuseme for example ulienda shule ukafail then umepata opportunity ya kusoma na hauna kama tuseme nini tuseme umekosa pesa alafu kuna opportunity ya kusoma na unataka kwenda hiyo kusoma hiyo whatever it is tuseme ka course then unajua kuna place unaweza get mtu akupatie opportunity uende shule but because ume umepigwa self esteem issues unaanza kuji doubt unaanza kufikiria yenyewe mtu akinisaidia alafu ni fail itakuwa ni kama ni waste stuff zao resources zao unajua and nime kitu nime realize in life ni the best things watu ufanya si vitu watu walifikiria wanaweza ukiangalia mtu ka nani mm, Steve Jobs Steve Jobs basically alikuwa in society alikuwa ni kama watu wame lose focus kwa maisha watu hawajijui eh alikuwa tu mtu wa naitwa just mavumbi tu <laughs> kwa unaelewa unaelewa una get na Steve Jobs right me right now hata saa zenye hayuko present in this life he still one of the greatest people unajua like product ali create inanunuliwa hadi probably na wale watu wenyewe walisema haizi make unajua hawa watu wa ati hawezi make wanakuanga wengi sana na u, kuna kitu pia ingine nime realize unaona ile time uko so afraid of doing something fanya hiyo kitu alafu endanga in life na hii attitude like hata ukifail ni nini hakuna kitu wasi naweza happen apart from ukifail na sometimes watu chukua failure like si success but sometimes failing is a success cause uspo fail in something utajua hiyo kitu kani yako ama si yako alafu sometimes jiamini unajua like test god angalia test potential ya god unajua na sisemi like test god in watu wenye wanajua biblia kuliko wengineo msini kujia ati it is not biblical to test god unajua kuna pati nasema in the bible patia mungu fedha alafu test me and see if i will not do something is it due by bible level yenu so excuse me but sometimes test god fanya ngatu vitu uone kama 
kwanza nifanye hiki tu nione god ako na potential gani kutumia hiki tu unajua kani njugu na uza endo uze ni kama unauza limo unajua like achanga kubabaika na vitu watu wanasema ama tuseme for example kama hauna kitu ya kufanya in life na wewe tu unajua maombi mse omba omba nikao nalipwa bilioni eh omba nika papa siako mi by the squeeze nimefika level nime realize nitafika greatness in life not by what people dictate of me like sita wai fika mahali nikienda na vitu watu wananipigia makofi na ndio maana imefika like naangalia nga life squeeze ni kama mtu akinipigia makofi ya iwori kwa sababu inaonekana ni kama nikipigiwa makofi mi ustuka juu inaonekana hiyo kitu itanipeleka mahali <laughs> na jo, watu positive mtasema mimi negative lakini that is a fact nime realize ile kitu watu hawani supporting ile time watu wongea nonsense eh about mimi hizo ndio vitu mimi succeed kwanza especially including myself zile vitu mimi wasiona ngika naweza fanya ndio mimi nafanyanga alafu another thing kama hip nini nikianza nakwambia the first time i started nilianza ni nikishake like literally shaking hata sijika words zangu zilikuwa zina form sentence ama ilikuwa one word alafu kuna space ya kiparagraph alafu kiwano aduko mwisho na leo nafanya hiki kitu like na feel like na enjoy kitu nilikuwa na ogopa kitu nilikuwa nafanya nikitetemeka kitu nilikaa by the way if you look at uh, the things nimetoa like the first one inaonesha like there is a difference of two years na hizo zingine but the funny thing is nilianza hiki kitu kitambo naeka na delete naeka na delete you get na saizi nafanya to the extent people are keeping me accountable nikikosa kupost kitu na kuambia mi nita watu watani text ama mtu watani DM aniambie eh kwa nini una slack unajua and it's funny cause <laughs> mi tuseme mi am an animal person and by this what i mean see na pet lakini mi am an animal person mimi heri nikae in one place bila kuongelesha watu kwa miaka you get so it's funny that i'm doing this that i'm communicating to people that people are not inspired by easy vitu kona fanya that and it's all caliber of people na ni kitu nilikuwa naogopa eh na ni kitu pia i did not get a lot of support in nini nilika like in this mindset ya watu wa wata i accept that kwenye god anani pull si kwenye watu wana expect niende cuz i feel like a lot of people wali issue wakiwa na this certain picture of me that kuna certain path ni take in life unajua like your books like career path yangu itakuwa viofisi hivi na pia mimi for some reason na vitu zingine um, to say me some foolish decisions nearly make in my career it was based on people like validation ya watu unajua unataka kupata like uh, kuka in this certain position ya life ya career for the ni for the way people carry you yani venye watu wanakubeba una matek yeah so um nilipitia like a lot of things god ali allows it happen in my life and kuna time nilikuwa nakasirika nilikuwa nakasirika tunajua like god anani pull towards this direction yenye i feel like i enjoy nitakuwa happy but my humanity ilikuwa inaniambia enda hii side nyingine ju logically hiyo ndio inakaita work and logically hiyo ndio inaka easy to get but i thank god ju kuna time niliambia tu god whatever i do in life usi why acha ni settle usi why acha ni settle whether it is in relationships interactions or career anything in life usi why acha ni and they at to my last breath na life yenye ni settle at because what what accept ama what what club so eh, nini god akiachilia hizi vitu zi happen of course iko na furaha eh kuna vitu hata nilikuwa nimekasirikia god a lot for kwa sababu i had to let go of a lot of things a lot of same as like opportunities ilikuwa zinakani great kutoka nje but ndani zilikuwa hazini make happy 
unaja to the extent ilifika place nilikuwa na mka kuenda this certain opportunity nilikuwa God alikuwa many bless nayo but God alikuwa season yake likuwa imeisha and I used to wake up na pain like I used to ask God every morning ni pe strength ya kuenda cause it was that hard for me and right now ni weird kwa sababu right now I feel like mtu wakiangalia kutoka nje anezona like sina a lot but I'm telling you it's crazy how happy and peaceful and how amazing vitu zimekuwa ziki happen in my life like unaona tu god in every situation unaona like enyewe hii ni path god alikuwa anataka for me and hii ni path yenye even when people don't uh, value people don't clap for me or people don't approve of it unaona like it's really doing what it's meant to do it's challenging people it's inspiring people na the funny thing si at ina it at the output in a inspire to watu mimi mwenyewe sometimes i sit and i go back to what i've produced and it inspires me it inspires me to keep going so yeah so um ikikuja kwa hii issue ya fear like most of you kuna tu in this life wana ishi life wakifikiria wao ni wajinga and i'm telling you if you even look at the word of god inasema wale wajinga ndio god who use unajua like Usi why did the raw at to the extent um patani was me by the leo nafanya pastorship leo mini evangelist wa streets kanya shinsky by the way support ya shinsky eh watu wanaongea vibaya lakini huo msia ni inspire watu let's be real unajua kila mtu ana expect kila mtu a preach the same way but god do use watu venye na use watu you can't tell god venye ata use watu na get so back to the topic First Corinthians 1:27 inasema but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong So inamaanisha nini kuna mtu amejiweka chini ako na talent ako na skill like crazy lakini the only reason hana hiyo output ni anashinanga tu akisikiliza watu unashinda tu ukisikiliza watu ati uli fail hizo uta fail like tu hadi umepati wadi nickname yako ni failure my friend chukua hiyo failure hiyo ni motivator inafai kwe umf ushaipata like sijui kani kila mtu but me you get like watu wakini wakini attack na kuanga like uh, sasa inafanya inakuanga ni kama ni kama trap music iko in human body una get like inafai kwa like rara for you eh mtu akikwambia wewe uwezi fanya hii kitu and you know you and your path god amekupeleka enda uifanye ni kama unakufa eh i hope sita flag you are your word like endo uifanye ni kama unalala for like for life you get like usiwe ya chatu aku stop na usiwe kuwa so obsessed na what people think of you wacha ni kuambie watu wakikupenda na na wakikuchukia hawaongezi anything in your life na wa subtract i'm sorry watu by them na nipenda i'm sorry si try kufanya mkach feelings na wapenda pia but unajua reality ya life ni god tu ndio ana add anything to you god tu ndio akiacha kukupenda which is not even possible yeye yeah, yeah, tu ndio anaweza subtract hata utakuwa unaishi but kuna watu wanaishi na wanafanya vitu huko so misijui unajua mambo ya god ni hard mind yake iko huko yetu iko huko chini una get so ishi life yako like jibebe life yako hata kuacha like even your own sometimes na sisemi na ubaya sometimes even your own parents they don't know god's calling on you unajua god akita mtu anaitanga mtu individually haitangi watu in multitudes Uki, ukienda heaven by the utajajiwa in multitudes utajajiwa you as your person unajua mimi ka mimi pekee watu wakiiba eh unajua watu wakiiba inakuanga like ni genge ya watu kwa god akunanga genge na kwa mimi amseni wewe peke yako wewe ukiwa umesimama hivyo eh kama peni moja ta peni moja ni nyingi ukiwa umesimama individually as yourself so kila kitu unafanya in life utajajiwa for it na kama usafu purpose ya god by the way ni judgment tuseme tu kweli like unajua god amekukall for something na ufanyi eh na i emphasize this on leadership a lot cuz i feel like tuko na watu wengi in leadership wanaweza ongoza 
lakini uko na fia uko na fia ama unajidoubt unajidharau unajua by the mtu akifika to place unajidharau jigonga nge slap me by the me ufanye hizo vitu call me weird but me uji slap sometimes nikifikiria kitu naona hisi ya god rajeka kibari kwa sababu sometimes lazima upige shetani kibari atoke kwa akili yako eh kibari na kuanga inaitwaje sometimes piga kibari pia concerns za watu negative concerns za watu juna choki angalia like life it's funny <coughs> angalia situation kama tuseme mtu hana job kama hauna job na umeka kwa place kuna watu kelele kelele watakuongea wata vibaya ukipata watasema wewe oh, umepata sponsor eh na kumbe god amefanya wewe ndio sponsor wa ma sponsor you get what i'm saying so like do what you want to do don't rely on people's validation fanya kenye unafanya unajua na kelele yote fanya vitu zote unataka kufanya mungu akikuamsha leo unaenda jua kali amko ende jua kali mungu akikuamsha enda leo ofisi amke enda ofisi Mungu akikuamsha leo ombea wase endo uombe wase unaweza kuwa the change of the generation una get so yeah is jika ni whatever you will title it but mimi tunakuja kuongelesha watu wenye mnafuatanga vitu mob za watu usema like kutoka leo fanya kenye god anasema god ana believe in you kila kitu ni ndwele you get eh do me nice generation my friend do what you're supposed to do i love you and peace like share subscribe